What's up guys, I'm going to do a Halls of Valor Mythic level 6 and this should be pretty easy, should be able to knock it out without any problems. The only modifier we have is Raging and that's probably one of the easiest modifiers there are so we'll just get to work here. Chain lightning and try not to stun anybody else. Just blast these guys away. Some earth shock. This next pull pretty much tells the story of how the dungeon is gonna go. Spread some flame shocks. Astral shift just for safety. Never know what's gonna happen. This boss is really easy. All I gotta do is look out for swords being thrown on me and drakes coming from both sides. If a sword ends up on me, I'm just gonna gust out of it. So here come drakes. Looks like it's gonna be on top. There is potential for another one, so keep an eye out for that. Doesn't look like there's going to be. And uh, just work on my rotation now. Refresh my flame shot. There's a sword. And soon we'll get Drake's again. Blade right on top of everybody. Fresh my totems. Looks like the Drake's behind us. Then there's gonna be a Drake right on top. And then after that one, there's gonna be another Drake right on top of us. So I'm gonna move. Basically, all I gotta do is look out for tornadoes. My flame shock fell off. That sucks. Some lightning. Well, he's down. Looks like we lost the hunter. That's okay. We'll work on this next group of guys. Spread some flame shocks. Interrupt the caster. Some storm. And finish them off with a lava proc. These guys are pretty easy. With just raging, that is. Basically, just chain lightning them away. Throw out a stun just because. Spread some flame shocks. Interrupt that. And finish these two guys off. I take usually line of sights these. And I'm just gonna chain lightning. And I'll use lava burst if it procs. Looks like we're gonna pull a sentry. So I'm gonna dot him up. shock lava bolt and this guy's shield can be purged should do it any second now there it is and we're gonna pull the other one whoa tab fail Some more lava bombs. 
some shot and purge. That was kind of a fail gust of wind. Dot these guys up. New Stormkeeper, so hopefully be up on the next pull. And Lava Proc. Oh, we got one guy here. Looks like we're gonna pull the other group too. So I'll start spreading some flame shocks, lava bursts. And there we go. Real easy. Now we gotta do this next pull. You can't sneak past them. I don't know why everybody still tries to do it. You can't. So I'm gonna spread some flames. Try not to stun anybody. Then just finish those guys off. Dot these guys up. And just a lava burst. Elemental blast. Another lava burst and earth shock. Looks like we're gonna go ahead and pull this next group. So I'll storm and try to blast them away with lava. And we're gonna pull the next group, which is cool. I like that the tank is pulling ahead like that. Wasted my chain though. Spread some flame shocks. Some chains. Lava burst. And don't get hit by that blast of light, of course. That's easy. Alright, you just don't stand in front of them. So lava burst and refresh my totems. I see people interrupt searing light, but I really don't know why. I haven't noticed an effect. Uh, just like, I haven't noticed the difference between interrupting it and not interrupting it. Not a significant enough difference that I can understand why people do it. I got Elemental Blast up. Finish them off and go on to this new, new guy, so same old rotation. Elemental Blast. Some Lava Burst. Refresh my totems just because there's an Earth Shock. Lava. Some lava and some earth blast, or elemental blast. Fresh my flame shock. Some earth shock. And elemental blast. Should finish them off. There we go. Now we'll pull the boss anytime now. Some flame shock. Fire elemental. Another lava. Another lava. God, I love lava procs. Shield of Light is just staying on the one side, I guess. It's cool. No, he's moving. So I'll gust over. Uh, arc on me, but nobody was standing next to me, so that's good. Some Sanctify. I'm gonna Astral Shift. Just a 
protect myself from anyone else that decides to eat all those. Uh, shield of Light. <laughs> kind of precarious Shield of Light. It's okay, survived. Arc Bolt on me. Gust in, go to the edge. And you, sh you should be down any second. There we go. Easy. I knew this should be easy. I'm gonna fly, just because I like to. Then we'll go around and start working on the next wing. This is going smoothly so far, so that's good. Just one death, and that was the hunter on the first boss because he failed to move. When, uh... when uh, Drake came down the, the third time, which a lot of people do. So we got Lava Proc, Earth Shock. And watch my tabbing there, Jesus. And I'll dot these guys up. go to town with chain lightning and I'll spread some flame shocks try not to stun that other shaman nice I gotta dispel out of range come on Some lava bursts. Easy. Now these guys we can sneak by. And we'll jump in this portal. I guess I'll mount up. I'm not used to having to, I'm not having, yeah, I'm not used to not having my 100% movement speed with uh, Ghost Wolf when I'm in a dungeon. So I'm going to dot these uh, guys up, spread some chains. Another chain, another shock. I don't know if this guy's targeting me or what, but I'm gonna take him out. Elemental Blast. Lava Proc. And refresh my totems. Ah, just missed, stopped casting. Lava, Earth Shock. Got lava up in a second. There we go. And I'm not going to Storm Keep because he should be dead, and I'd rather have Storm Keeper for the wolves up ahead. So there he goes. I like this Shaman. With all that PvP gear. 890 PvP gear, that's pretty crazy. I guess you can pretty much gear up however you want in this expansion. And some chain lightning. Earth shock. Now Stormkeep 
and waste my chain lightning on one wolf jumping away, of course. It's pretty annoying when they do that. Finish them off with some chain lightning. It'd be nice if they would stack up. I mean our group would stack up a little bit closer. Here we go, some flame shock. We haven't even lusted yet, which is kind of funny. Work on these ads a little bit. Got 29 minutes, I don't know if we should lust or not. It's kind of funny that we're not lusting. My fire elemental out there. <laughs> There's like all these things I'm not even doing, it's pretty sad. Chain lightning. Earth shock. Finish them off. Just like that. Just gonna skip here. Well, I forgot we killed ads on the other side. That kind of sucks. That shaman just pulled. I'm not gonna get aggro unless the tank is. I guess we'll save them. Just chain lightning these guys down. Pretty easy. Yeah, we can get back to business. Can't believe we haven't lost it yet. <laughs> We might have lost it on the first boss, I don't remember. I find it hard to believe we've been here for 10 minutes already. Now we'll probably skip these guys with beer. Unless the tank is just feeling like killing them, I guess. So there they go. Now I'll just run beside them. Sometimes the tank pulls them up the ramp, so I'll keep an eye out for that. Doesn't look like we're going to do it this time. So dispel or purge. Refresh my flame. And get a lava prop for it. Dispel or whatever. Nice. Eight ninety-six. He's got the same legendary as me. Oh, wow, he's lucky. Nine hundred mythic seven Titan Forge. That's pretty cool. Oh, let's get these guys down. Get on the Skullvold. So we can get on to Odin and get this thing finished up. Running pretty close for a three chest, I think. this guy off with lava hopefully my sh flame shock doesn't die can do a circle I 
And I'm a storm keep, even though I should have probably saved it for the next two, but I'm not really worried about it. I'm feeling pretty lazy on this run. Go get the hammer guy. Interrupts, so. oh. So I'm just gonna stay on King then. It's a wicked dagger on me. I don't know what that does, but I'm astral shift. Oh, he barely got that that yell. That was close. Spread some dots. And I'm going to use Storm so I can just finish this guy off. Storm will probably be up by the time Skullvold's done with his drawn out speech about how we can't have the shield. seconds. I'm gonna spread out. So start out the rotation of flame shock and go into lava bursts. I'm gonna save Stormkeeper for the adds, but I am gonna use my flame elemental. Savage Blade. Now he's gonna be going around here. And ads come out, so I'm gonna use Stormkeeper, be ready for him. And unfortunately they're not stacking up. Oh well. Just a chain lightning to help out on him. Still haven't lusted. Fresh my totems. Savage Blade. And there we go. Easy as can be. Oh, we gotta do Odin. So I'm going to pick this side. Hopefully the tank pulls him back because it's much easier to kill him when he's doing that. Because there's more options when you have to run away. It's a real drag when somebody gets caught running this way because they're not paying attention and they can't get away. And then, you know, die. Time now. And the tank's just gonna pull him over there. I just tank him over there, I guess. I wonder where the ads are gonna pop up. There's Valajar. Some with, with uh, Earthshock and Stormkeeper. Nice, got him with a lava burst.
No, I gotta go to red. And we'll finally lost. And hopefully get him down real quick. Watch out for bubbles. Fire, whatever. Jesus. Three chests, pretty much what I expected, and the boss's buggy is tripping out. Here we go. Eh, I got a chest piece. I don't think I need it. It's 860, I'm pretty sure I got 865. Yeah, I don't need it. And I'm in combat, so I can't open this chest and gold. So that was the run guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.